What's going on guys? It's Diamond Dan back again with another one. Now in today's episode, we're going to be breaking down the fantasy value of the Detroit Lions second round pick running back, the almighty DeAndre Swift. Now, I'm just going to flat out say it now. Swift, DeAndre Swift, in my opinion, was the best overall running back in this draft. To me, he is Nick Chubb and Sonny Michelle rolled into one. And I personally think he's better than both of them. I really do. Now, Swift's skill set is unique. He has the he has best he has the best balance, quickness, and pass catching ability, in my opinion, out of any RB in the 2020 draft class. Swift to me is the perfect three down back, especially in today's NFL, which literally makes him perfect for fantasy football. Now, Swift is all 5'8, uh, 220 pounds, but he ran a 4'48 at the combine. So he's short, stocky, big. He's like a, a Mark Ingram on steroids. So he might be short, but he's, the, he's but he is tough enough and stocky enough to run in between the tackles as well. Now, according to NFL scouts and analysts, uh, DeAndre Swift was the n- number one overall run- running back rated in the 2020 draft to most, which I totally agree with, like I said a second ago. And for me, it goes back and forth between DeAndre Swift and Jonathan Taylor. Jonathan Taylor is amazing. He's like a Saquon Barkley in a lot of ways, but he just doesn't have that pass catching ability like a Saquon or Swift. But Jonathan Taylor is an animal, right? Flat out, I'll say it. Now, but Swift to me can do it all, like I said a second ago. But from day one, DeAndre Swift will be the best RB in the lines when it comes to running the ball and catching the ball. Now, DeAndre Swift is currently the second running back on the line step chart, but guys, that's just the formality, okay? Now, Carrion Johnson is number one, and he's a good running back, all right? And he's currently the starter, but he's always hurt. And he isn't on DeAndre Swift's level when it comes to skill set. Karen Jets has got an impressive skill set, but he's not on DeAndre Swift's level. Now, the Lions are a shitstorm every year, as we know. Uh, they're close to winning. They do good. And you're like, oh, this is the Lions' year. And if you think this is the season they're going to turn it around, but they end up losing like five games by one or three points. I mean, it's just, it's, it's terrible. Uh, but to be honest, I, I don't care about the past. Because if you're watching closely last year, then you saw that when Matt Stafford was healthy, the Lions had one of the best offenses in the league. They did. And with adding DeAndre Swift into the mix, I mean, it, that will make the Lions' offense even more nasty. Now, Swift does have some opportunities. I'm not saying he's perfect. Even though he's stocky and runs hard, he does sometimes get stopped in short yarded situations, right? Which can be tough because that's going to cost you a touchdown in fantasy and can lose you a game. And he has to learn, DeAndre also has to learn not everything has to be a home run because there was times last year in college where he lost yardage because he always tried the big play attempt, right? But I got to be honest with you. If you watch tape, 90% of those times when he went for the big play, it worked out. Now, on the Diamond Dan Fantasy Football Drafting Rating Scale, uh, a, a 1 to 10, right? A 10 being you have to draft DeAndre Swift right now. I'm going to give Swift a solid 7.5 to 8.5. Now, that's the highest rating I've given for a running back so far. Now, I know a lot of people might think I'm overthinking this, but I'm not. DeAndre Swift is too talented to stay at the number two spot in the Detroit backfield. Right? So whether it's in week one or in week eight, Swift is going to take that number one RB spot from always the always hurt carry on Johnson. Swift, even as the second string RB, has three RB three upside right now, right away. And let's just say carry on Johnson gets hurt again, then Swift is going to get all the carries, right? Because they don't have anyone else that can compete with him. Then he, the guy then he instantly jumps into an RB one value, and he has top five overall RB RB value in the in the fantasy leagues. Okay, top five. I'm talking with the Saquons, the Zeeks, everyone, and then McCaffrey's. He's, he will be elite if he got all the carries. Now, Swift is currently getting drafted as a 75th overall pick in drafts and has an average ADP of the sixth round. Now, for a rookie that's supposed to be sharing time to start off, now for some, that's kind of a hefty price. And I get it. You're like, hold on. I'm taking this guy who's a second string running back in the sixth round. But in the end, you got to remember, Swift is so talented that I believe, I really do believe, he's going to end up being worth every penny. So you might be spending that sixth round pick, but I think he's going to be worth it in every way, guys. I really do. So you got to think about that when you're making your drafts this year. Just know that if you're thinking DeAndre Swift might just be stay up as a second string or a backup, that's not the case. He's going to shine. He's going to take that job from carry on Johnson, 100%. All right? So draft DeAndre Swift in your drafts. All right, guys, so that's it for this episode of Fantasy Football Focus 1. Hope you liked the video. Uh, Please hit the subscribe button if you're not a member yet. Also, don't forget to hit the like button. Uh, Also, shout out a few comments if you want to debate or if you just want to show some love. All right, guys, peace.